Hi, um, this is Mr. Rocha. We're back again, and um, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the flame to work, okay? So we have this flame image, which is here, um, and we want it to, to work with the lander. We want it to show up when we want to, you know, have have some, some speed on the lander and things like that, okay? So, um, you know, for the flame, we have to um, set up some variables for it. Okay, so the so we need to have it like a flame, flame x. Okay, and then we're gonna have to have a, a flame y. And basically, what they do is they're gonna be somewhere in relation to the lander. Okay, so the lander has a kind of a position in the sky, and what we want to do is we want to put put the flame um, in relation to it. Um, so wherever the lander is, we're going to move it, you know, additionally, some additional coordinates, okay? So, um, like here, like if you, um, if you have the lander, and the lander's here, okay, and this is where it's sort of zero, zero coordinate is, we want to move it down and over to some extent so it shows up in a good place. That's, so that's what we're trying, trying to do right now, okay? So, um... So basically, what we need to do is, um, and we're going to need a couple like functions for this for the flame, okay? Um, so let me see, let me see how we can do this. Okay, so what I would do one is I'd make a function called like set flame position, okay? And it's going to like get coordinates for that, okay? And then I'd get another one that would say, I think it's a function called um, show flame. Okay. And uh, we want to also be able to hide the flame. Okay. And since we're calling these a lot, like when you, when you push this button, we kind of want this to happen. Okay. And show flame is actually pretty easy. Um, let me see. What we want to do is we want to take the flame image like this um, and and put it in here and display it as black okay and the high flame we're just going to do it as none so so if you want to hide it it's going to say none you can do this the um the more tricky part is basically the um the uh the getting the coordinates okay so what we want to do is always go like this, go flame x is going to equal the lander x plus something, okay? And um, so we're going to have to figure out what that plus is, okay? And uh, the flame y, okay, y is going to equal the lander y. So wherever the lander is, we're going to also add... Um, you know, a, a set of it, okay? And we're gonna look at the lander. I think the lander is like 100 and, 110 pixels big, I'm not really sure, but we wanna fill in these numbers right now, okay? And let me go, I'm gonna go look at the lander and try to figure this out. Okay, and um, let me see, let's look at it here. Okay, so looking at it, okay, we want it to be about like here. I think this is 110. So I'm gonna say like Y is like 80, okay? And, um. I don't know, I forget how wide this is. I think this is about like 80, like wide. So I'm gonna make this 40. Okay, so I'm gonna make the y 80 and the x over here um, um, 40. Okay, so I'm gonna make the x 40 and make the y 80. And we'll we'll just kind of look at it and see, what, see if that looks good, okay? So what I'll do right now then is that when you, um, when you move, the lander, okay, after we um, we do this, right, um, what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to, um, so the blow up ones, oh my gosh, we want, what we want to do is we want to move the flame too. So, so um, we have our, we have our, um, our thing called set flame position, and we want this to, to get called like basically the whole time. So every time we move the lander, we want to move the flame position. Okay, so I'm going to go like this and go um, set flame position. Okay, like that. Okay, and we can also do it in, um, 
this is in move lander. Okay. So this is to to move the flame. Okay. And you might, you know, just as you know, here you could do it here after you set the landers here. You could also set the flame position here. You could set set flame position. Okay, like that. Okay. And um, right now, just to sort of test this out, um, we could also sh show it. So what we're going to do right now is, um, see where it says set this. I'm going to, I'm going to. This is like temporary. Show flame. And we'll just have it be showing, okay, right now, okay, and um, and that's that's kind of good, I think. Um, and what I'm going to do is kind of test it out, okay. Um, yeah, thinking about it. Actually, there's one thing I forgot is in the flame. Where is it? Um, in our set flame position. Actually, what we want to do is actually move the. What we did is we set the flame x and flame y. But we actually want to like have the. Um, the flame image actually go there too. Okay, so we're always kind of updating the flame no matter what. Okay, and um, so I want to get this. I want to say this. I want to say flame image style top equals the flame y. I want to do it the y first, I guess. Okay, px and then the flame x here going left is going to equal flame x. PX. Okay, so what this does is we set these mathematical coordinates and then we can actually set where the flame's going to be. If the flame's being hidden, no one will see it, but if it's time to show it, it'll show up. Okay, and that's what's going on. So um, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to do a save all here and then we're going to uh, test it. And so, um, so after you've done the save, we're going to go here and say open browser. And there it is. Okay, that actually looks like it's in a pretty good position. I like where it is. I like seeing it. Um, it seems actually really good. So what you're going to do then is the next step is to get the buttons to sort of work with this. So you, when you hit it, it'll it'll you know do flaming and stuff like that. Okay. And let's see what happens right now when we do it. See the flame will just kind of go down there. And um, I'm not sure the flame's still. Maybe it might still. We have to hide the flame. I think when we crash. So let's do that. Um, so on a crash, let me see. That's move lander. This is a crash, right? Okay, it's this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna say, um, oopie. Move lander here. What we wanna do is go um, hide flame. Okay, so that doesn't show up. And that's actually good. Um, and then um, let's save this and run this real quick. Okay, so it's here, and then we'll go, and then that's good, so we don't see the flame anymore. And then if we reset it, it should, oh, it doesn't show up again. Well, we don't want it to show up necessarily. That's the thing, so it's hidden. But um, um, let me see. That's actually fine. So that, that, that's what we want right now. But it, it sort of works. So if I restarted it, kind of like it always, it's the first time right now we have it going, which is okay. Okay, and then that's good. And then the reset actually wouldn't do it. And that's good too. Okay. So, all right. So that's what we like. Um, and uh, let's, let's get that done. Okay. Thanks.